That I was and to you. Oh, I have all I need. Something deep within me starts and tells me I must go to where I. Bye. Hey, good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, family. Welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Let me thank Miss Roberta Flat for that beautiful um, rendition. Where I'll find you. Like a light. On a ship <laughs> in a storm, you called to me. Though my cause is my own, I'm afraid it leads to you and you and you alone. And I can't change it. Y'all remember that? You know what? That's before a lot of y'all was even born, so I, I ain't even going to go there. Anyway, good morning to you. Good afternoon. Good evening. And welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Um, this is a sports edition, pretty much. Uh, I want to talk about Naomi Osaka for a minute. First of all, I want to tell her you are uh, you are the realest um, uh, uh, little young sister, and I appreciate you so much for your honesty. I think more athletes um, should be like you. Anytime you can make more money off the court then you really basically make on the court you don't have to put up with crap from anyone and at this point with all this stuff going on it becomes quite apparent that the only God some people serve is money and they think their little tournaments and their little tournaments and their little get-togethers no matter how much abuse that you must take in order to be a part of these things and how much they weigh on you. Um, you know, sometimes it takes the, a person to weigh out what it is. And I really respect her and I want to commend her for uh, refusing to play, for withdrawing from the French Open. They'll be just fine without it. Now, if there's a backlash from all the rest of the tournaments because of it, so be it. So be it. You've done more for tennis in your short little time that you've been there than a lot of these sisters that's been there forever because you opened up your mouth and you said something that meant something. And I appreciate you so much, little grand baby. You keep up the good work. You keep it up. You are a winner beyond that court. You are a winner in in the hearts of the people. That's what I talk about when we talk about sacrifice. In fact, 
you might be the closest thing to Muhammad Ali in a uh, feminine, a female essence. Because that's what happens. That's what you do. You make a sacrifice. Some people can't understand why you would do it. They don't need to understand. The only person that needs to understand is you and your family. And you good. So I just wanted to make that comment about um, uh, the French Open and how they chose to deal with uh, Naomi. I really did. But here's, here's what the article states. Here's what she said. And first, and another thing, I wish y'all stopped calling her Japanese. You know, the white racist media is just such a joke. Y'all are so tired with y'all racist, you know, uh, content. Anybody that looks at her see can see she's a black woman, okay? Because black is dominant. Do you understand that? Anything else is recessive. It's white, especially. But she's not white. She's a white. She's a Chinese, right? Which, um, uh, uh, which is that Europe? Well, let's let's. I'm not gonna go but here. Um, here's what I'm trying to say: the indigenous people of Japan uh, look like her and darker. <laughs> okay. However, her father is Haitian. So let's just start with that. You can't just keep sitting up here saying this woman is Chinese. She's Chinese because you don't want to acknowledge the African blood in her. You don't even want to acknowledge it. And you're so fake because she looked like a black woman. And when people see her, that's they see a black woman. And that's part of the reason why y'all have got the girl depressed. Because you're so obsessed with race, you're so obsessed with lying, then the questions that you ask are so damn ridiculous, and they're based on nothing but um, how to keep a person off balance, and they have matches to do, and they have to stay mentally sharp and mentally sound, and you think they want to put up with your shenanigans? In Anyway, number two, world number two, Naomi Osaka has withdrawn, y'all know, from the French Open after a controversy over her refusal to speak to the media at the tournament. In a tweet announcing the move, Japan's Osaka said that she had suffered long bouts of depression since winning her first Grand Slam title. By the way, she speaks English. That's her first language. The 23-year-old said last week that she... Uh, would not do news conferences at Roland Garros to protect her mental health. I never wanted to be a distraction, she said. So she just let you get it straight right now. Uh, 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 Serena Williams says she wants to hug Naomi after the withdrawal. That's what Serena Williams said. Because she never had the courage to say or do what Naomi is doing. And Naomi, she's got a $10 million contract from Nike. Um, she made something like 300 something million last year. 390 something million. Maybe 97. Well, I don't know. Maybe 39 million. I don't know. Then you turn around with 25 this year. Listen, she's making a lot more money off that court than she's making on. And to put up with y'all craziness, I'm so proud of her. Let me finish. On Sunday, Osaka won her opening match against Romania's Patricia Taratig in straight sets and was fined $15,000 um, uh, uh, for not doing post-match media. Later that day, in a joint statement from Grand Slam organizers, uh, they said Osaka could face expulsion from the tournament if she continued to avoid them. Oh, so you want to threaten me? Okay, fine. See ya. But I wouldn't want to be you. That led to the player announcing her withdrawal Monday, saying she was going to take some time away from the court. Good. 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 You didn't make enough money to support your family, your family's family, okay? 
and your kids' kids when you decide to have them. Bye. When the time is right, I really want to work with Tor to discuss ways we can make things better for the players, press, and fans. Uh, French Federation President Giles Morton said the withdrawal of the second seed was unfortunate. We're sorry and sad for Naomi. We wish her the best, the quickest possible recovery, and we look for, forward to having her at our tournament last, next year. I know you do. Cause that's where the money reside, where the money reside, where the money reside, where the money reside. As uh, the ball brand slams, um, I mean, I never, a situation I never managed, she said. This is her full statement. This is the situation I ever imagined or intended when I posted a few days ago. I think now the best thing for the tournament and other players and my well-being is for me to withdraw so that so everyone can get back to focusing on uh, tennis and what's going on in Paris. I never wanted to be a distraction and I accept my time it was not idea and my message could have been clear. More importantly, I would never trivialize mental health or use the term like the truth is, I have suffered long bouts of depression since the U.S. Open in 2018. I have had a really hard time coping with that. Anyone who knows me knows that I'm introverted, and anyone that has seen uh, me at tournaments will notice that I'm often wearing headphones, as that helps dull my social anxiety. Though the tennis press has always been kind to me, and I want to apologize to all the cool journalists who I may have hurt. Good job. I am not a natural public speaker and get huge waves of anxiety before I speak to the world's media. I get really nervous and find it stressful to always try to engage and give you the best answers I can. So, here in Paris, I am already feeling of, of vulnerable and anxiousness. So I thought it better to ex exercise self-care, skip the press conference and announce it preemptively because I do feel like the rules are quite outdated in parts and I wanted to highlight that. I wrote privately to the tournament apologizing and saying that I would be more happy to speak with them after the tournament as the slams are intense. I'm going to take some time away from the court now. But when the time is right, and I really want to work with the tour to this, I really want, to, I'm sorry, but when the time is right, I really want to work with the tour uh, to discuss ways we can make things better for the players, press, and fans. Somebody said, you shouldn't have to make a decision like this. Four stars support Osaka. Tina Navratilova, 18-time Grand Slam champion, single said, I'm so sad about Naomi Osaka. I truly hope she will be okay. As athletes, we are taught to take care of our body, and perhaps the mental and emotional aspect gets short shrift. This is about more than doing or not doing a press conference. Good luck, Naomi. We are pulling for you. Billie Jean King. It's incredibly brave that, brave that uh, Naomi Osaka has revealed her truth about her struggle with depression. Right now, the important thing is what we give her is the space and the time that she needs. I wish her well. Steph Curry. You shouldn't have to make a decision like this. So damn impressive taking the high road when the powers that be don't protect their own. Major respect. Yeah. Interesting. Anyway, she has a lot of support from athletes and fans alike. So, I'm going to have that you have my full support. Good luck to you, baby. Now, for the rest of y'all, and listen, I also want to welcome my new subscribers. Let me uh, I'd be remiss if I didn't shout some of y'all out. Um, I thank you for being here. 
uh, and truth and justice. The American way. Uh, I want to thank you for being there. Kelly Myrick, thank you for being a subscriber to the channel. I appreciate you, appreciate you, appreciate you. Y'all already know YouTube goes up and down with these numbers and stuff so much that I got to the point where I just shout you out um, and I can't really worry about them at all because <laughs> y'all how know how we do it. I just try to protect my mental health. <laughs> And some of the stuff that we talk about is just more room out than in. And it's real important that I acknowledge that. That is more room out than in. So that's why I make video content. I can't talk about nobody else. I'm talking about me. Um, guacamole. Bay. Um. DJ Jazz Double Bass, the voice of the people, Tony Cotel. Thank y'all all for subscribing. Uh, Poochie Lou. <laughs> Thank y'all so much. Glad to see you out there. I hope you stick around. Uh, be blessed. And DJ Double Bass, what you working with? Anyway, I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for listening. Thanks for being out there.